This Go Health video is going to show you how to create patient profiles. If a patient has called the clinic and they've never been to the clinic before, select a time. Under the Patient field, click the down arrow, select New, and enter in the fields where you see a red asterisk. This will create a basic patient profile that you can go in later and complete the full details. Select Save when you've finished. The other place you can create new profiles is under the Patient tab, New Patient, and again go in and fill in the fields where there is a red asterisk, first name, last name, the gender, and the date of birth. Under the email field, you'll want to make sure that you enter a valid email address if the patient would like to receive appointment email reminders and perhaps receive their invoices by email, and they, if they would like to have access to the portal if you are using the online booking system. You can also select a default reminder for the patient appointment reminders. If you have text messaging enabled, you will also have that option to select from. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and apply changes. Now you will see some other options down the left hand side of the page or across the top of the page depending on the browser that you're using. Under the intake tab, you will see forms that you would have previously created under custom template intake forms. The medical history appears in this section. Click through the tabs, enter the details, and when you've finished, apply changes. Insurance is where you'll select new insurance and enter the patient's insurance records. The charts is where you'll be charting your patients. Select add, Enter notes. Under the observations tab, this is where you will have access to charts that would have previously been selected under your practitioner profile. You can also copy last encounter. Treatment plans are for the HKI program. Correspondence, you can set up notes, create calls and to-dos, and see a log of the system emails that were sent from Global Office to your patients. Messages is where you can select to create a new message and send it to an individual within the clinic or a group within the clinic. You can store documents under the document tab, new letters that were previously created under the settings and custom letters, and you can grant portal access to these items. Under the Accounting tab, you can set up tax exemptions, and if you are registered to the Stripe Gateway, you will be able to see the patient credit card details in this area to bill for future appointments. Discounts are set up under this tab by product, category, department, or all products. Portal access is where you can send a portal invitation to a patient, change their username and password to log into the system, or create an account for them manually. When the patient has accepted the consent form in the portal, this item will change to yes. The form section is where you can create additional copies of forms in the system for any of the insurance items that were billed for the patient. In the insurance tab, all of the patient's invoicing, payments, gift cards, credits, and appointment details will appear. And some of the changes you make to the patient's profile will be logged under the Changes tab. And now you've successfully completed a patient profile and are able to fill in all of the details throughout your patient's appointment.